right so now we'll be discussing about elimination of arbitrary constants so this is still a continuous elimination of our discussion on uh, differential equations so we will try first to define what you mean by a constant so if uh, a constant constant b basically means a a term on the differential equation that has no variable on it okay so that is by the way a constant for example we have the differential equation or for example we have an equation let's say uh, 2x plus y is equal to 3 so 3 here is a constant now the the term the in the differential equation so i, I believe this is um a, a re, relative definition so we could just say that one as in the equation because in a differential equation the constant is eliminated okay so this is the yeah, some uh, sample equation so your three here is a constant if you remember your um, integral calculus so for example we have uh, we need to find the integral of x squared dx so it will be equal to x cubed over 3 plus c so the c here stands for a constant so this is now what we call as the arbitrary constant so this one on the c uh, stands for any number that is a constant that has no uh, variable on it or does it uh, or does not be, uh, or have not been affected or will not be uh, affected by any value of our x or y so that's why it's called an arbitrary constant so in 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 getting the the differential equation of a certain equation like this one so the way to do that is to eliminate the um the constant the constant term the arbitrary constant for example we could have a number or equation 4x plus 5y is equal to c so in order for us to have a differential equation so we need to eliminate c so we need to eliminate c and how we are going to eliminate that so going back to your calculus so the the, deri the derivative of a constant so the derivative of a constant in terms of x or in terms of any variable is equal to zero so in order for us to eliminate the constant here the arbitrary constant c so we need to find the derivative of this equation so we need to get the, deri the derivative of each term and that and thus we, we will go to the uh the we'll go back to implicit differentiation because it's x and y so we have two two variables so we could say that we will be getting the derivative of each of the variable in terms of x or in terms of y so that is implicit differentiation so the way to do this so we have two uh, we have rules we have the process in getting or eliminating the arbitrary constant okay so the the first rule so the first rule is the so the order of the differential equation is equal let's just write clearly the equal is equal to the number of 
arbitrary constants. Okay, so the the order of the differential equation is all is equal to the number of the arbitrary constants. So that is found in the given equation. For example, if your given equation has uh, three arbitrary constants, we could write e x plus b y is equal to c. So if we are going to eliminate the arbitrary constant here, we have the arbitrary constant A, the B, and the C. So our resulting differential equation will be at the third order because we are going to eliminate three arbitrary constants. So, and how we are going to do that is to get the derivative of this equation or get the, the derivative of each term of the equation um, three times. So we need to... to Add to di differentiate the equation three times. Uh, that, thus, we will have in differential equation in the third order. Okay, so number two. So next rule is that it must be consistent with the relation. So what does it mean? So the the resulting the differential equation must be consistent with the given equation. If it is in terms of x and y, so your differential equation or your answer must be also in terms of x and y. The third one is the the answer must be free from. arbitrary constants okay and that is the third rule so after getting the uh, after doing the the differentiation so your answer must be free from arbitrary constants so if if you have a given equation for example a certain equation that is um, for example we will just have a See for example here. For example, we have three x squared plus uh, x y squared is equal to c. So this given um, equation, we need to find the equivalent differential equation of, of this by um, eliminating the arbitrary constant. So if if you are going to inspect the equation, so you have only one arbitrary constant so it means by rule number one so the order of the differential equation must be only equal to one because we have only one arbitrary constant which is c so in order to get the first order derivative of this equation so you need to differentiate this equation once so how we are going to do that so let's just have the solution so in order a first what is the derivative of the first term? So that will be 3 times, we will drop the exponent, x, so that is 2 minus 1, plus, so this is a product of a derivative. So that first we will derivative, uh, derive this one in terms of x, so we have y squared, because the derivative of x is equal to 1, plus, so we will just group this one, plus, so in terms of y, um, using an implicit so this with the exponent of y will be dropped so we have 2 x y just use y prime here y prime is equal to 0 so we just simplify this one so we have 6 x plus y squared plus 2 x y y prime uh, is equal to zero okay then what we will do we will group the this one which has no y prime so we have six x plus y squared plus then we will um, write our notation for the first order derivative so that will be two x y that will be dy dx is equal to 0 
Well, let's just use the bracket because we have already used the parenthesis and the grouping of the terms. Then, so we will, we will multiply both sides by the x. So we'll end up with 6x plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. And this is now your answer. So if you can see, our order of our, of our differential equation is in the first order. We have the dy dx. So that is a first order differential equation. And that is correct because our given um, equation has only one cons constant. Then to check the consistency for the second rule, so it is in terms of x and y. Then the last rule, free from arbitrary constant, so it is free from arbitrary constant. And that will be all for this video. So thank you for watching and as always, enjoy learning.